Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in. Here is a look at Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monster Law Firm. We're seeing clear skies right now across the area. Temperatures sitting out in the upper 30s, but the winds are at 13 miles per hour, and that is making things feel a bit colder than it actually is out there. So make sure to dress in layers as you head out the door this morning. For our day today, we are going to see lots of sunshine out there, but unfortunately, it's not going to do much to warm us up as we'll continue to have a stiff north wind helping to reinforce that colder air across the area. So make sure to dress in layers and keep those layers on throughout the day. Uh, once you're in the sun, it shouldn't feel too bad, but will, when you're in the shade or when the wind blows, that's when it's going to feel quite cold out there. Uh, in particular, we'll see those wind chills dropping down to the low 30s for the most part in some upper 20s this afternoon, so it's not going to get that much warmer from where we are right now. Here's a look at the 3 p.m. forecast wind chills. Uh, we're sitting out in the mid to upper 20s north to the low to mid 30s south with a few upper 30s to low 40 wind chills out in deep east Texas, so we'll get colder generally the further north and west you go across the area. Either way, we're all going to feel colder than the actual air temperature because of that wind out there. Our next rainmaker moves in on Sunday. Here's a look at what Futurecast has with that. Here's 5 p.m. Sunday. You can see uh, some pinks and purples out there uh, west of our area, indicating the potential for wintry mix over in the Fort Worth area uh, heading into Sunday evening. Well, as we head into Sunday night, we'll see the rain gradually spread across the area here locally. Now, we'll be watching our northernmost areas, in particular the I-30 corridor uh, early in the morning on Monday. Can't rule out some freezing rain mixing in with rain out there. Now, the good news here is that temperatures at the ground will be either uh, at or just below freezing, so the road temperatures should be fine. So I'm not expecting any road impacts, but there could be a light icing on some trees and power lines heading into early Monday morning before this transitions to all entirely rain heading into Monday. So uh, just like that, any ice that does develop on trees and power lines will melt very quickly during the day on Monday, so that will also limit impacts overall. But as we head throughout the day on Monday, it's a plain rain, but it will get heavy at times out there, indicated by the yellows and oranges by a one p.m. on Sunday on Monday rather and then by 4 p.m. we're going to continue to see periods of heavy rain out there. So Monday is going to be a bit of a washout for us and that rain could get heavy at times. We're going to see some showers lingering on through Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night and even into Thursday as well as temperatures finally start to warm up for DP Texas. It is more of the same look for those cold temperatures this weekend, but then we turn warmer with rain chances increasing as we head into next week. Highs back into the 60s area wide by the day on Tuesday.